What's going on guys? TBF Gaming, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark Survival Evolved. We're jumping back into Ark Eternal, but this time on the Valgiro map. So something a little bit different today, we're actually doing a in-between the streams video. So not like a normal episode, this is a in-between the stream episode, I guess is what we'll call it. The general thing that we're doing here is streaming on twitch.tv slash tbfgaming1124. Uh, so we've been streaming this, we're about four stream episodes into this series and we've got quite a bit done we kind of want to show you guys on youtube because since since this was a twitch only series there was a couple people that said you know i'm, I'm not really going to watch it on twitch is there any way you could put this over on youtube and so what i'm going to start doing is porting these episodes from the streams over to youtube so they're going to be the long form regular streams that you know the anywhere from three to five hours depending on how long we're able to stream for i'm going to port those over to youtube i don't know how well they'll do because it's it's a stream thing so it's not like a normal episode where i'm doing commentary like this or where i'm talking straight to you guys usually i'm just talking to the people that are in the chat or the people that are playing along with us uh, it's been mainly me and Otto, and i think true is in there a little bit and we'll have some other people that will join in uh on the server as well just when we jump into the normal discord so that's what we're kind of working on there but definitely streaming this having a lot of fun with it let me kind of show you what we got going on if you guys are watching the stream series this was our base we went ahead and broke this thing down it's completely gone our base is gone we do have walls all the way around protecting us minus a couple holes where we're about to build some new things and we got our typical little arc circles you know the arc kind of a circle kind of not a circle uh, oh, also, before we get too far, if you guys do like today's video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment down below, all that kind of stuff. And if you guys want to see those streams on YouTube, just definitely let me know. Or if you want me to keep that specific to Twitch, let me know there. Kind of make it a little bit of a separate thing. It's not going to affect any of the series that are already on YouTube. Those are going to continue just fine, no problems. Uh, but yeah, we got our typical little arc circles with the weird roofs and stuff like that. I don't like that one. It looks like a Spider-Man symbol up there. I'm not real sure about that one. But other than that, we've got all kinds of cool things going over here. I've got organization like crazy. I've just spent the last hour and some change organizing this place. So that way the next time we stream, it won't be so much inventory management. But this is pretty amazing. I want to show you guys this. Uh, let's find an exit here. Where's where's our tiger? Come here, tiger. Uh, we're also breeding owls. If you guys want to see some cool owl breeding, we're going to eventually have some really cool different color ones. I do have a couple color variations over there in the soul balls. we got one with like a red and one with like a gold skin on it for the poison. And then the fire has an all red chest and a yellow chest so we're getting a couple variations there already too so kind of cool and we don't even have an s plus mutator yet this is all just with uh breeding them straight out the box so it's been kind of fun this is a prime tiger if you guys don't know about the prime tiger this one's really cool his color change kind of changes depending on what kind of light you're in but he's actually a prime color there you go the prime tiger super amazing we got to get a name for this guy i haven't got, given a main name just yet but this if you guys look really closely it is a thylacolio base that is given the body and skin of the tiger from the game Atlas. So if you guys know the game Atlas, a uh, Ark Sister Studio spinoff that they have some similar. Uh, well, let's just let's just say it's it's basically Ark's engine in the ocean. But they have some creatures in there like this, the the tiger, the prime tiger that was ported over into Ark Eternal, and it's pretty amazing. It's a lot of fun. Like I said, it's the oh, oh no, stay on there. We got some bad things out here. There we go. It's got some pretty ridiculous damage. It's fast. It's just like the Thylacolio in terms of the way it jumps and everything. So it's pretty awesome there. Let's eat these guys, get them out of the way. Anything else up here? Just a Megatherium hanging out there. Lots of owls. We're over in the Tundra area. If you guys don't recognize the area here on Valgiro, kind of show you on the map over on the left side. The grid is about 45. Oh, wait, hold on. We can just get rid of this thing up top. And I can tell you exactly what it is. Let's go a little bit of that, a little bit of that. So the grid is 4508. So way over here on the side. We're kind of building up on this ledge up here. I want to do some cool things up here. I haven't really got a chance to build in the tundra area on this map yet. So this is our first time doing like a super modded series on this. This is an open server. This is a TBFG Eternal Valgaro series. Uh, like I said, having a lot of fun. Just a, a stream series. My first attempt at a stream series. Uh, but like I said, some people wanted that those videos brought over to YouTube because they just, you know, they can't really watch Twitch. Uh, wherever they're watching it, whether you're watching it at work or on your mobile or whatever it is. And Twitch only keeps those episodes around for so long. So I'm going to go ahead and port over the first four streams uh, as well as future streams over to YouTube, probably like on the weekend. I'm not really sure, kind of in between my other normal release dates or schedule, uh, which we do have a release schedule, even though it doesn't seem like it sometimes. But here's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to get some of this stuff so I can show you exactly what happens when I drop it in the base. The One of the mods that we have on here, we have Arc Eternal, we have all the Eternal structures eternal uh beacons and all the other eternal stuff on here but we also have something called 
Automated Arc. Automated Arc is a pretty cool mod. And it starts with this. You have the Automated Arc Workbench. From here, you can make all the Automated Arc stuff, right? Pretty simple. You got all the different tools. Everything auto-sorts between the different tools. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, you got some of the cooking stuff. Crafting station. This is a really cool auto crafter. We'll work with that later. The OCD storage, some of the storage vaults. Right now, I just have the basic storage vaults over here. They're all organized and they're just little basic vaults. They have 300 slots in them. But if you click on it, right, this is all the stuff that goes in here. You click this add to resource list and everything in here gets added to this box's resource list. Now, when things get sorted, it'll all go to specific boxes. And it's all done by this right here, the control console, which, oh, it looks like it's got some things in it. Okay, we're still having a, oh wait, are we just, do we just have too much feces? Is that what's going on? We're having a little trouble sorting the feces right now. So let me fix this right now. We'll do it with you guys so you can see how it works. So we take the feces, right? Feces, hard word, words are hard. The medium and the small. So we get those. We go over to a machine that we want it to sort to. So we're thinking maybe the freezer, but that only has 150 slots. I can't get it to go to the compost bin for some reason. It doesn't have a, a sorting button on here. I've been kind of looking at this. It'll grab stuff from the ground, but it doesn't just sort naturally. This one does do 300 slots. So let's just put it here for now because this is what I had it originally. And then I decided that it wouldn't work there because it is going to spoil, but that's fine for right now. So we'll add to resource list. So all this stuff is now added to the resource list. If you get the wrong one, you can do clear. But we've got the right things in there. Now we go over to this machine, and anything that's not sortable is inside of here. We click on this button, manual sort, and bam, it's all gone. All right. Now, the stuff on my inventory is even better. Check this out. There's this little tool over here called the vacuum sorter. This is amazing. I love this tool right here. This one might be my favorite. You're awesome. All right. So if we drop stuff that it's on our inventory, all right? So I'm just like, oh, my God, so much crap. Let's just get rid of this so we can go on an adventure. I drop everything like so, like so. There we go. Everything underneath that first row. You can see, look, it's already getting picked up, minus the one thing that is... Feel free to pick it up, guys. Pick it up. It might pick it up in a second. Now, that gets picked up into the vacuum thing, and when you come over here and do manual sort, it'll sort it out to all the different things except for stuff that doesn't have a home yet. So, like this one, the flat gloves and the Lazarus chowder will have to go add into a sorting box, and then hopefully it'll work next time. So, we'll go... I see resources, skin and, skins and costumes... No, armor. Oh, you know why? Is because we have those. I think we put those on here. That is, okay. So all those are on here. So this does not auto-sort to your S-plus stuff, which is a bummer. But it does sort to any of the AA stuff. All right, we've got an AA polymer transmitter, which is a pretty amazing. can convert your polymer back and forth. So we have plenty of that. You've got your AA fertilizer silo, which is just like it sounds. It pulls all the fertilizer, and then it'll distribute it back to crop plots once you put crop plots. All right. This one over here is the compost bin. It takes all the feces that gets dropped on the ground, pulls it, and then makes fertilizer. In fact, let's go like this. We'll go ahead and pull fertilizer. Bam, all the fertilizer's over there. Just like that. That's pretty much how it works. And now what I'm going to do is when this starts getting empty, I'll come over here and we'll use our transfer tool. And we'll say, I need all of you to be in there. And now it will automatically pull thatch in order to make the fertilizer. So it'll it'll pull it, slowly make it. Now, I don't know if the owl pellets make into that. We'll have to figure that out. Owl pellets, I might find a different spot for them. Uh, but that's kind of what that is. This is the feeding trough. Kind of does the same thing, although I think I accidentally set everything to pull off of here. Hmm. What is balanced food? Now, I'm not sure what balanced food means, but I do need to fix that because I think I have all of the food going to here, so we're going to have to fix that. But that's fine because we have Arc Eternal on here, and we can make the eternal feeder if it's available. Let's see. Structures, crafting, feeder. Uh oh. That might have got moved to the regular mod. Oh, I do believe so. I think this got moved to the regular mod and not the structures mod. So let's go structures and feed? No. What is it called? It's the. Now I'm struggling to remember what it's called. Structures. Crafting, poop collector, furt maker, charge station, crafting, collector, DLC bench, gas collector, power, tree platforms. I'm not seeing it in there. Structures expansion, tools. Hmm. 
I am not seeing it. We might be missing. Maybe it was in this first one. I just didn't see it. Let's try it one more time. Structures, crafting, and it should just look like a feeding trough. Okay. I'm not seeing it. Hmm. Extinction, furniture, storage, traps. Yeah, it's definitely... I remember seeing a patch note that said it moved over here. I'm just not seeing it. Consumable? Hold on. Try it one more time. Feed? No. Trough? No. Okay, I'll have to go back into the patch notes and figure it out. But there's an eternal feeder that's really easy to make. Let's make sure it's not on our inventory. S plus feeding trough. Feeding trough. All right. Yeah, not seeing it. Not really sure. We'll have to kind of figure out where it's at. But yeah, that's what we got going on. Now, dino-wise, we've got some dinos. We don't have a lot. Uh, we did do the bear. Now, a prime electric bear, I realize, is pretty far into the the tiers and the, you know, escalating through Arc Eternal. But we actually just got him as a alpha bear. We leveled him up. And he was pretty low level. But we got an alpha bear. We leveled him up. Turned him over to prime. Leveled him up just a little bit. And then turned him over into electric so we, we didn't level him up as much as we would like to like the goal would be to get like a level 600 alpha bear level him up to over a thousand and then evolve him, then level him up close to 2000 evolve him and then you have a you know level 2000 something electric bear he'd be an absolute knockout monster but he's still pretty cool the rest of our dinos we have over here in the soul station you guys know about the soul station it's basically like the cryopods only better and you have your dinos in the little pokeballs you can throw them out and bam, there you go. You have your different dinos like that. If you want to pick them back up, you can either use the little ball just like this. And, oh, try it again. You can use the ball like that and go ahead and walk up to him and touch him. Or you can use the soul gun and shabam. Nope, try it again. There we go. I knew we could do it. All right. And then you can go ahead and sort him where you want to, do what you want to do with him. So that's that right there. Uh, like I said, we got our bear. We've got this guy. This guy's pretty cool. This is the eternal jerboa now what you do with this one is you get azul berries right let's go ahead and put this on just so i can pull something so we go azul berry all right so you pull some azul berries over here you kind of wait for a minute and then oh i'm sorry you put them on wander behavior enable wander you wait for a couple minutes and then bam you're going to suddenly have all the dyes in the world and it just continues to escalate you'll have tons and tons of dye it's really cool we'll give it just a second to see if he does it there he goes nice look how quick that was all right, let's go ahead and go behavior, disable wandering. All right, now I've got all this ridiculous amount of dye on here, right? If we go back to the sorter, check it out. It pulls from dinos too. So let's go like this, and we go manual sort, bam. It pulls that one thing that didn't have a home. It pulled all the dye off of him. Oh, well, it should have. Let's try this again. Should pull the stuff off him. Hopefully it works this time. Okay, it's not, It, but it should pull. It will pull it eventually. I don't know why it's not doing it right now. And it'll place it over here into, oh, that's why, because it's full. I was like, man, I'm trying to show the people how this works, and it's not working. It's because this is full right now. So <laughs> it's getting a little over, overflowing over there. Uh, but, yeah, so we got so much dye. This is all made from that guy right there. So if you want to do some coloring of your house or if you want to color up your armor, you're good to go. You got all the color. Now we have, right now, I know we're, we're way behind armor-wise because I have the cloth armor on, but this is actually the FMK cloth armor that you can just make one like, section of it. You click on this, FMK cloth armor set. You craft it, and when it crafts, it's going to give you a full set of cloth armor. How amazing is that? So we've kind of given it a shout-out before, not like either of the guys that this belongs to need a shout-out from us, but this is made by Prome and Froggy Man. It's the... Froggy Man, King Daddy DMAC, Kibble Table. Pretty amazing. It can make some really cool things in here. They did just add some new things to it. You got the cloth armor set. You got all the artifacts that you can make. Some consumable stuff, which we've already talked about in the past. Stuff like narcotic or a healing paste. Uh, just all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, the different kibbles that you may need. The uh, Some of the supplies that are a little bit harder to get. Some spoiling. You can actually spoil meat inside of here if you choose to. And there's a FMK structure, which is just like the Gaia ruins, which gives you a little hidey hole that you can use to uh, place somewhere and hide out. Like you could do this out in the wilderness and actually make it. It's really cool. Uh, some of the tools, they've got unbreakable pickaxe, torch, sickle, uh, grappling hook, 
Bola, and then some XP potions, which is really cool. So just a really cool tool. It's been a lot of fun. Those are the main things that we have on the, the server. It's a couple other things. It's only 15 mods. We want to make it somewhat accessible to someone that wants to jump on the server. Uh, over here, we've got our cauldron, which is cool, the chemistry bench, just all kinds of cool things. Hopefully, we kind of showed you everything inside of here. I know that's a lot. It's probably just a little too much, actually. But let's check on our owls. We should be ready for the next iteration of owls. We could do this. I'll probably end up doing this in between episodes. We'll go ahead and pick them up at least. So we have our lightning owls. All right, we got quite a few of them. And then we'll kind of figure out between these ones and the ones that we already have, we'll figure out which ones we actually want to do. Nothing under level 800. They didn't start off as crazy high levels, so we've been having to breed them a little bit higher each time. And we've got them now up into the 800s, which is awesome. There we go. There still are some really low level ones. You'll see like a five or a 600 within all this but yeah definitely much much better oh we got a baby owl in here oh when you guys didn't finish growing up my bad my bad bud you're at 83 percent man why are you taking so long dang okay we also do have an alpha owl and an alpha poison owl which are a lot of fun we've been messing with those guys in fact let's take out our alpha owl right now i think it's the alpha alpha owl and alpha poison owl right and then i'm just gonna throw the rest of these guys back in the soul station for right now there's the alpha there's the alpha poison those are just guys that we found at the very end of the stream yesterday it was a lot of fun to be able to grab those guys all right all right now also since we didn't really mention it earlier our typical stream time is six to eight six to nine depending on what we can get into uh we would like to go a little bit longer but for right now with our work schedule that's about as good as we can do we try to do a three-hour stream three times a week that's the general plan and goal uh when it does work out but these guys are a lot of fun if you guys haven't ever seen these before check this out uh, first off, he can go underwater, which is really cool. Uh, he's got the normal normal dive, just like they always do, right? And then, what level are you? If I see like a really high level, we'll, we'll grab him. 380. There's an Alpha Megatherium. Let's kind of test what our damage is at. Let's see. There we go. Did I say 6,000? It's not too bad, right? Oh, we're walking, my bad. He does land really quickly. I always mess that up. There we go. So definitely not too bad. 7,000. That's doable. Gets a little bit of meat going. All right. And then once we land here, there we go. He's got his beam that he can do. All right. There we go. Hit him a couple times. Kind of see how much Torbor it does. I think it does right around 200,000 Torbor. And because this is a modded owl, I can bump speed. I can actually fly backwards and do the other things that the other flyers can normally do within the modded versions. Uh, unlike the you know, vanilla ones that we've been dealing with lately. All right, let's keep flying this way. Oh, what is that? What is that? <gasps> alpha L. Ooh, it'll give us a, a breedable Alpha L. We'll do this right here with you guys. Okay, please don't get smashed. Hold on. Let's get some damage. Let's get some speed. Let's go lots of health. All right, there we go. Heal up. And let's make a friend. Okay. I'm not real accurate with this. Oh, God, please don't kill me. Oh, he does fire, really. All right, Eternal Alpha, 360. That's not bad. 200,000. Okay. Come on. I don't even know if I'm hitting him. Did I hit him? I don't think I did. There we go. Very, very cool. That's what I'm talking about. Get us an Alpha going. All right. There's 400,000. Oh, God, we're dying. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. Let's get that back. I don't have a, I don't have a thing on him. If I lose my alpha on with you guys right here, I'm going to be really, really sad. All right, hold on. Let's get, um, let's see. I think I have a pteranodon I can grab real quick. We don't have, like I said, we don't have a lot of dinos right now, so it's kind of hard. We don't have anything out that can just go out there and wreck face. Let's go, uh, patera like so. All right, let's throw this down. We'll get our body and stuff. Actually, no, let's do that now. Let's do that now. Let's drop. No, let's throw out the... No, man, we're so flustered. I just don't want to lose the owl. I'm a little worried. All right, drop everything. Okay, and this is just a elemental poison owl. This is like one of the first guys that we got in the very first or second stream. All right, retrieve corpse. Okay, got all of my stuff. Thank you, thank you. And, okay, go. Go save the day, dude. Okay. Oh, and he's probably on... Is he on neutral? He is. Okay. All right. 
I know. I mean, he's, on, he's not on neutral. He's on passive. Okay. And neutral. Hit him, dude. Knock him out, poison now. Come on, man. There you go. Take him out. All right. He's going to do the job for us. Check this out. Oh, I'm completely losing him here. There they go. There they go. Okay. We got to get ready. There you go. Where you at, dude? No, dude. Come on. All right. There he goes. He's going. Oh, we are so not fast enough. Go knock him out, dude. Okay. Let's go passive just for a second. Is he out? He's out. He's out. Are you following me? Stay with me, big dude. There we go. Oh, what is this? Just a regular poison now. Where's the owl? Um, there he is. Okay. We lost him for a second. All right. Let's land here. Okay. Let's jump on our owl. Come here, dude. Got you. All right. Super amazing. Let's go like this. All right. Let's clear out these guys. Oh, no. They're going down there. We're good. Now, I don't think I have any of the meat on me. Let's go get some meat. How much do you need? You need just two alpha meat. We've got just a little bit of that left. Let's go to our base, Clifftown. All right. Quickly, quickly. I think we can pull it. Can we pull it? Let's see. Alpha meat, 59. Give us all of it. Okay. Let's go. We're so close, we can just fly down here real quick, I think, I hope. Oh, there's a prime. Be careful. Date on, no. Date on, no. What are you doing? Oh, what the world? Oh, come on, man. We don't have time for this. Okay, good. Kill them. Are you gonna... Okay, fine. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. No, no. Reload faster, guy. Stadon's over here. Now, he's not going to do too much damage because he's vanilla biting a... There we go. Okay, I hope it didn't knock down the effectiveness too much. Oh, man. Also, it did not grab the meat. It definitely didn't grab the meat. That's what you call a nightmare. Okay. Nothing is working out right now. All right. Clifftown. Yeah, I see my guy getting attacked. We're fine. We'll teleport right back to this exact same spot. Dang. Okay. This was supposed to be just like an update in between the streams video, but there's no way we could pass up getting ourselves an alpha. All right. Oh, that's not a door anymore. I forgot we just removed all the doors and kind of been changing how you get in and out the base. All right. So I think it's going to be inside of here. Uh, meat. Where's alpha meat, guys? Oh, no. I know for sure we have it. Alpha meat. Hmm. Am I just not seeing it? Did it go onto the bird somehow, or did I drop it over here? Oh, did we do that really? No. Alpha. Okay, I'm a little worried. I'm not seeing the alpha meat anywhere. Worst case, I'll put just regular meat on it. It'll just take a long time and not be really effective. How about you, man? Do you got it? You don't have it either. All right, a little bit worried. Where's our L? Oh, you're not our owl. Dang. Where's our owl? Okay. There he is. There he is. There we go. Watch out. The owl's coming. Don't get hit by this owl. This guy will wreck our day here. All right. Let's look at this again. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. We're going to die. We're going to die. Oh, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Close everything. Okay, we're healed. Alright, if we can do this quickly. Get on our buddy. No, 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 no. Don't get hit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. There we go. Got it. There you go. Hit him. Yeah, so even though he's a poison, we can still do torpor to him because... We're an alpha poison. There you go. Come on. I really don't need to hit this guy at all. I'd rather just kill him if I could, but he's kind of tough. 
I'm having a lot of trouble hitting him with our beam, though. There we go. Yeah, the beam doesn't always seem to go. There we go. Hit him, hit him. Okay, he's running, finally. There you go. I don't even care about him. Now, as we were doing before all that got crazy... There it is. It's on you. How did it get on you? I don't know how he managed that. D doesn't even matter. Alright. Alpha meat. His food is already drained. A couple bites and he'll be up. 98% effectiveness. Oh, okay. That was way harder than it should have been. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. We got you. Let's go pick up our bird. There we go. Awesome, awesome. Let's get out of here. Yeah, not a plan tame. Just definitely, this was supposed to be an update video, kind of tell you about the streaming series, and then get back to it. But this is kind of how most of our videos go anyway. Not very planned, not very scripted, uh, but hopefully at least a little bit of entertaining, even if it's just through failure and uh, struggles. All right, I think we're up here. Still kind of learning where our base at. So, yeah, but this, that's all we got base-wise so far. Eventually, we will have the whole thing built out. I want to build with the CFK stuff, but I'm honestly not into the caves and castle types, or the uh, castle and keeps type stuff. It's just not really something I enjoy. Uh, I'd just rather build out of metal and just make my little half circles, and I don't know. It's kind of what we're aiming for. I'm, I'm hoping to build across the entire outside here, like something for each one of the dinos. I'm not really sure. We're going to figure all that out, but there you go. Got ourselves a second alpha now. We can actually... Why is there not a door there? That needs to be fixed. I will put a door there. There we go. Bring our buddy in here. And now, I've got two alphas, and we can actually make a baby alpha. So let's go. Let's see. We have a 779 and a 536. Not a great level. And they are male-female. We're absolutely amazing. That's a great, great news. All right. Eat all the food. And then we're going to go ahead and get these guys... Mating and mating. Awesome. Can't wait to see a little alpha baby. And then what I want to do is see if these alphas can actually evolve into the poison and electric variant since there is a alpha poison. I assume that they can. I'm not 100% sure, but you know how eternal evolutions work. There's so many different things you can usually do. But there we go. Baby's coming. Uh, we got to do some more fire and lightning and poison owls. will work on that. Uh, this is the A crate, but yeah, we'll jump into that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe for new, leave a comment down below, all that kind of stuff. And I will see you in the next episode of Ark Survival Evolved, Ark Eternal, the stream series.